I think every once in a while you got to say, man, we got to get this guy unleashed. He's too important for us. And now with Nico, I, you can make an argument that you don't do that. You're winning. Nico's the best receiver in football. You you just keep doing what you're doing. But right now with Nico out, I would argue that, yeah, find a way. And maybe it's not even finding a way. Maybe it's nothing that Bobby Slowick has to scheme. Maybe it's just the fact that he's going to step up in the priority list of CJ when he goes through yeah. his reads. Uh, D'Amico Ryans met the media yesterday. Nico Collins. Now, I think we're all under the assumption that he's going to be just kind of going to be okay and he's going to come back right away or something, right? Well, he said it was a short. Yeah. He said shorter term injury, which I know yesterday I said he wasn't. I mean, you don't have a hamstring injury and just come right back from it. Yeah. It's short. It's soft tissue. It can linger, linger, linger. There was no way he wasn't going to miss this game. And it sounds like. It's at least this game. Yeah. There's, uh, here's D'Amico talking about Nico and missing him for any amount of time. Missing Nico would be, it would be very difficult. Like, Nico has been the best receiver in the NFL this year. So, do you replace him? No. Everybody just steps up and whatever role you're asked to do, you just step up and play your role the proper way. Nobody has to go out and, and be Nico. Right, there's one Nico. He's done a great job of that. Now, whoever is next, when your number is called, make the plays that you're supposed to make. So this is the perfect opportunity for them to unleash Tank again, right? Hmm? I mean, where is the, where is that post that he's doing and CJ does a little, and all of a sudden he finds Tank and oh, the, the uh, squabble, yeah, the dance they do, yeah. What? Where is well, that? Well, that's CJ's dance. Where is that though? Well, where. I mean, how many touchdowns does Tank have this year? He doesn't have any touchdowns. Ta -da. No, I know, but he had, Magic trick. he had touchdowns last year. Why doesn't he have touchdowns this year? Because you have Nico and Stephon Diggs. Well, now you don't have Nico, so let's let's get Tank. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. Tank, has to, Tank has to become a factor. Um, and I think you will see that now. I think you'll see, although Tank's going to stay out now more than ever, Tank's got to be an outside receiver. So I don't know. I mean, I, I, it was always bothering me that he was going to have to play outside. He's a small guy. He, when you have, when you're further away from the football, and you're a smaller target, quarterback size are just not going to go to you as much. And now you throw in all the zone that's being played, and and it's tighter window throws now, and anticipatory throws for CJ. That's not going to be his favorite throw. I mean, you, he's more of a three. Tar, he's more of a three catch guy right now. And the reality is, Tank needs to be a five catch player per game you know, that's what he needs to be with some games where he gets seven and a touchdown or two so you're right this this needs to you know offenses look for when you start getting in a habit of when you when you start talking about an offense needs to find this guy and this that's dangerous because you want your quarterback to find the open man and make defenses pay based on who's open you you want him to stay within the confines and not turn into like Deshaun always looking for De for DeAndre Hopkins, where to the... We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special announcement. I love Coors Light. I've always loved Coors Light, and I always will love Coors Light. I'm doing my job keeping Texas chill. Are you? Are you doing your part? Do your part. Keep Texas chill. Detriment of the team where tight ends didn't even exist despite the fact that they were wide open for Deshaun. CJ's good about getting the ball where it's supposed to go. With that said, though... I do think you need to get Tank going. I think every once in a while you got to say, man, we got to get this guy unleashed. He's too important for us. And now with Nico, I, you can make an argument that you don't do that. You're winning. Nico's the best receiver in football. You you just keep doing what you're doing. But right now with Nico out, I would argue that, yeah, find a way. And maybe it's not even finding a way. Maybe it's nothing that Bobby Slowick has to scheme. Maybe it's just the fact that he's going to step up in the priority list of CJ when he goes through yeah. his reads. I think it may be that simple. I really do think that CJ, he plays he plays favorites. He played. Not I mean, like Deshaun with DeAndre Hopkins. Well, uh, with Nico. Yeah, used to get like 150 With Nico, targets. you don't think he does? I, just, I think Nico's open. I think Nico's that good. Well, I but I think that CJ's looking to him too. Would you like to throw to a two hundred? Steph Diggs had zero targets before <clears throat> Nico went down. 
Zero. And Was then all of a zero? sudden, Nico goes down. He's got six targets. Would you? Well, he was wide open on a deep ball. Nico was. Yeah. But also, it's just that gets to the point I was talking about with Tank Dell. Well, I'm going to look for him because he's going to be open. He's two. He's going to be open, but he's also 220 pounds, and he catches contested catches. When you throw it to a big target, it just feels better. Hmm. You're yeah. throwing to a wider catch radius. You're throwing to a bigger body. Like Tank could be injured at any time by just the turf. Just falling down, he could get hurt. So we need <laughs> the Nico that? Collins. That is of the not world. true. I'll Stop f- saying that about Tank. Oh my God, he doesn't just fall down and get hurt. He's although now he did missed one time. ten. He did. He got a concussion falling down. He's got ten win. He's got ten games he's missed and twelve games he's played. So we want those numbers. Those are kind of. I mean, they're not McCullers they're, numbers or anything tight. like that. They're tight. They're yeah. tight. <clears throat> it's it's Will it's Will Fuller numbers. Uh, it's getting close. No, no, yeah, no, no. Will Fuller played less than that. Size. You think Will, so? Will, yeah, Will Fuller played less than that. Yeah, absolutely. Eventually. Uh huh. Um, I hope you're right because Will Fuller was more dominant than Tank. Will Fuller and Deshaun and Deshaun together were absolutely outstanding. Um, Will Fuller game started thirteen. Are you sure, John? Are you sure about this? In his first two years, Will Fuller played twenty three games total. After that, what about after that? Seven. Yeah, that's when he t- tore up his knee the next year. And the year after that, 11. That's tankish. That's, yeah, I guess it's a pretty... I hate, to, I hate that. I hate that he's cleaving close. To, because well, he Will, Fuller he will, was the, will Fuller will have played more games than Tank does Will this Fuller was the king of the you know getting the bag. And his was a hamstring. His was soft tissue injuries. Oh, well, well he, he had the one where he got like hit. You mean like Nico now? Is that what he you're saying? He had the one where he got hit. Well, that's why I'm saying you don't... You don't take any chances no you can't but nico didn't have any history in college actually will fuller didn't have a history in college will fuller only played six years in the nfl six years in the nfl but man he had 24 touchdowns in 55 games like that guy was dangerous we gotta get tank going man we gotta get tank this his name is tank i know that's the best nickname for 160 pound players tank (laughs) What are you going to, like, we got to get Tank going. He got that as a baby, too. I know. We got to get Tank going. 